me out. This is Darrell D. West Enterprise. Got a nice one for y'all today. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, y'all. So let me just show you what we're doing today. Doing a full house cleaning. This is a, a, a two bedroom, I believe. And so I'll just show you since we're down here. Going to be filling in these uh, the scratch here in the hardwood. It's pretty uh, it's pretty deep. I'm gonna see what I can do with it. I told him it's not gonna be like perfect, but it'll be decent. And then we got another one here. And then I'm gonna let that um, dry, come through, clean the floor, and then I'll put a, a refinish over the top. Also for the stairs, this little uh, area of the stairs. But since we're in this area, I'll show you what we got going. So, got my D Weber. Just want to make sure I get a lot of these cobwebs. Y'all know how I do it. I like to do this stuff. I've been to so many houses that uh, I see that the cleaners have been in there and they don't even do this stuff. Again, I'm doing this with one hand, so I'll try to get the idea. All right, y'all, so <clears throat> real quick, I just wanted to uh, show what I did. So I did this one over here. You can see that one over there stands out. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And the reason I did it this color, um, I mean, you can see it, but the thing is, is there's so many lines in here, so many little black stuff going on. I wanted just to make it like it was a, you know, a, a, an imperfection in the wood because they're all over. So, Sorry, excuse me. So, I'll show you guys how I do this. And let's just see what we can create. See, because from here, you can't really even tell. All right, there's so many things going on. Like, if you look there, you can see you got the, uh, the wood, the dark wood, and then you can see right there, you got the dark wood. Same thing over here. So it kind of blends in. That's what, kind of what I was going for. I mean, if I go in there, I mean, you can really, you can tell, but you can't really tell. Mainly because we're looking at it, but let's see how it looks. Especially I'm gonna put a refinish over this. So let's see what's cracking here. Got this light one here, a little darker. And then I got a black. So really what I'm just trying to do is just kind of blend it in because there's a lot of dark, you know, wood grain lines in here. So let's see. Now I could mix these together and get like one solid color. I think I want to try those, you know, just go the route that I've been going. Kind of just fill this in. Right now it's a lot lighter, but you're going to see what I do to kind of get a little darker. If I really wanted to, uh, if I really wanted to get down with the get down, they have detail uh, pens that you can get, which I have one, but I really worry too much about it. 
I just told him, you know, I just fill it in a little bit for him, try to get it as best as I could for him. Because really, the the real way to do this is you want to sand down the uh, the floor. So I'm just trying to help him out. You can see all, them, all these scratches anyway. So many scratches in this floor. That's, that's level one. I really didn't. So if I'm looking at it right now, it's it's flat. <clears throat> then what I do, I just come in, hit it a little darker. Oops, too much. Just a couple like little dots. See what this does.
popped out. Way too much. I had to get some, uh, some alcohol wipes from the van. These are already dry. I'll be back.
All right, so let's take a look at this. Can't even see it anymore. It blends in. You don't even know where it's at. This one's a little too dark for me, though, but I'm just going to leave it like that. But, it, you know, if you're just looking at it, you can't see it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not standing out in your face. That was the, the goal. All right, y'all, so I know I'm uh, kind of extending this, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like first. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to bring uh, my machine in here. I'm going to do a, a good cleaning of it. Then after, I'll go ahead and put the, uh, the finish over it. Uh, but again, I just wanted to show you guys that you can't see from here. If you're not knowing what you're looking for, you can't see those scratches. All right. So it's basically a, a, a stain filler, pretty much uh, like an epoxy uh, stain filler. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, along with this red van with the nice looking D West on that bad boy, you know what I'm saying? We got our, our floor machine here. Now this is good for hardwood. Um, and it took a lot, man, for me to get this thing red. Like, I've been wanting to buy one for a while. They're kind of hard to come by uh, in the red. Not I mean, sorta, but not really. Um, and you all know, I gotta do my own stickers, man. That's how we do it. So let's get in there. This beautiful thing, thing right here, boy. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so y'all can mostly uh, see a difference already. Like, we can really see some uh, some shine to this floor. But I'm gonna add the refinish. I am gonna go around the edges and just kind of, you know, just around the edge, just kind of wipe it down with a towel. But I'll come back to y'all in a second. That's all she wrote. Y'all can see the difference, man. Look really good. And it'll stay like that. Like I told the uh, the customer, it's not gonna remove the scratches like we see indentations. It's not gonna remove that, but it'll make it look a lot better. You know, once we set up expectations for the customer, they understand what's going on. If we could say, oh yeah, well, you know, we could do this, we could do that, and it's going to look brand new, he's going to do all this, no, nah, you're just setting yourself up for failure. I was pretty clear with him about that. All right, y'all, so the, uh, so my cleaners are finally done. Um, 
here's what we're working with up here. All right, so we got, uh, you can see it's very, very dull. There is some, some uh, residue and some other stuff on it. All right, so I just wanna just show you guys what they did. I still, I'm still gonna put my uh, stainless steel cleaner and show you guys the uh, product. This is the product that we use for uh, stainless steel. Look at that bad boy on this one. I'm gonna finish this up, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of what they what they got into, how they uh, took care of it. All this stuff was already here. They handled that. I helped them with a few little things, like uh, just barely, but they did a majority of it. And look at this floor, it looks terrible. We're gonna take care of that. We'll get started in a minute.
I don't want to put this on super thick because I don't want like a super super sheen, super gloss. And I'll show you why in a second. There's a reason why I do everything. It has to do with blending in. And I'll show you that right now. Got to close those blinds. It's all good. He'll be back. That's a good way to show you guys, anyway. All right, y'all, so you guys can see how shiny it is. It's not gonna be like that. It's gonna have a little shine to it, but it's still wet, wet, right? So, um, just got off the phone with the, uh, with the customer, and I let him know that uh, I'm still gonna be, uh, be here for a little bit, so if he wants to come by, he can, or if he wants to uh, just uh, see it later, He's probably, he said he'll, he's going to see it later because um, he's busy. And the cool thing is uh, people, they can make the payment over the uh, online when I send the, uh, the invoice. Now, so the reason why I said I don't want to make this super, super shiny is because this, this has like a matte finish to it. And then you're gonna kind of see a difference, you know. He, of course, it's different woods and different finishes, but I'll show you how the other one turned out. So it has some shine to it, but it's not like super shiny, like wet shiny. It's more so, you know, it still has a gloss. So we're gonna. He wants us to do uh, these stairs, this here, of course. And then just that little landing area or entry, whatever you want to call it. So you see how it uh, how it dries. I'm getting my sweat on it, so it's like I'm dripping. And let me get you in a little bit closer. So this stuff is, it's a, a urethane finish. It's not, and I repeat, it is not like a mop and glow, okay? A mop and glow will turn, turn color on you. It'll turn that yellow, that hazy, which kind of what, the, what this did. Really, is you're supposed to remove it and then put this down. But the thing is, this is a rental for him. I mean, uh, yeah, he's he's renting, and he was already like, "Whoa!" because of this price. So I said, "Okay, look, this is what I can do, just to cut cut some costs, even with those." Those scratches, I kind of just helped them out a little bit just to, to fill it in. And I really didn't, I'm mostly just
for that. Um, I really didn't really fill it in, but I kind of tried to make it look like it was, you know, some type of wood grain that's, that's there. So big difference. All right, y'all, so this is all done. This is the last little section. And I just want to show you how it, how it dries, all right? So it's not going to be like, like we're on the, on, on, um, on the sun, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that's super bright, uh, shiny. But you can see where it's starting to dry versus the wet. So it just gives it a nice little, nice little sheen to it. This is already dry over here. And I just wanted to show you how we're looking. It is still still bright outside uh, for the most part, uh, but got the blinds closed and stuff, so it's a little darker in here. But I wanted to go back to the little area I touched up. Can't really even tell where it's at because you got all these dark lines. You know, there's some here. You got some there, some there, here. So that's why I kind of went that route with it. But I'll show y'all where it's at. Uh, it's right there. And then the other one is right there. This one I did too dark, but it's all right. It's not, it's not the end of the world. In a second, we'll go back up there. I'm just gonna, uh, and these are all the little scratches they got. So, like I was telling him, it's gotta be sanded down. It's not like we could just miraculously make it happen. We're just putting a finish over the top because wood is, is, is soft. So you scratch it, it's gonna just take out a piece of the wood. Kind of like, uh, like uh, the aluminum on your vehicles. It's just once it, there's a dent, you kind of got to work it out, get it filled or, or, you know, anyway. Starting to take uh, my booties off. I'm going to let this stuff dry for a little bit. But we can already see up there. Look pretty good. Again, it's not like a super gloss, but there it is a gloss. So everything's all dry, all good to go. Let's take a look at this, yo. Sorry. So yeah, so. Looks pretty, looks pretty good. He'll definitely be happy about this. Again, it's not like the shiniest thing. You could do a couple coats of this bad boy, or put it on super thick to get that super gloss, but that's not what I was trying to do. Because if you look at these stairs, you see the reflection. versus this a little bit more dull but I'm trying to kind of blend it see how see that reflection right there versus that reflection so I don't want it to be like super in your face hitting you smacking you and you're like damn you know you all the attentions there but if you're coming in here and you just go up the stairs, yeah, you're fine. But let's go upstairs, let's take a look at this, and then we'll cut out. Okay, perfect. So they did the, uh, the bathroom. Got a nice little look to it. These are already like this, nothing that we did. 
They did the shower. I was gonna say, um, this also could be deep cleaned. You know, we could do tile and grout cleaning for that. Did it in there. And then I also did a, a little fill mark in here too, but with a, a with a fill marker instead. You can't even see it, so that's a good sign. And of course this, y'all know what it is, it's D West for life, y'all. Yeah, same thing with the with the wood here. This video was more so to show you guys the, uh, the hardwood cleaning, but also to show that we're a one-stop shop. So, you know, we can come in, fully clean your house. You know, we can even do tile and grout in here if, if that's something he wanted. I'm actually gonna take a picture like this. I think that looks good. I'm gonna move that stuff though. But you can see this floor it looks pretty good. And then there's a uh, another bathroom back here. So same thing. We could do tile and grout cleaning in here if they wanted it. You know what I'm saying? They got all in the cabinets and everything over here. And all of these cabinets. These are kind of dirty. So, stuff we do. Typically on a, on a full house clean. Um, I forget how many square feet. I think it was 2,400 square feet for this place. Depending on the, the, the soil leveling. Usually takes us about eight hours or so. I'm probably showing you guys the same stuff over again, but just roll with it. We even uh, took out the, uh, the oven, pulled it out, got the sides. And then got up in there. I'll show you some before and after pictures for sure on this one. That way you can kind of see. The biggest thing I want to show you guys is you can actually see a reflection on this that you weren't able to before. And then also up here, this was so caked on with, with grease. This had so much grease. This was like piled with grease. Same thing here. Uh, there were... Um, I think on this one there were some rust spots so I kind of uh, worked on those there's a certain way you could do it and then same thing here it was like caked on grease I worked on those Oops, sorry they got up in here they did wipe this down but this needs a good polish it's a different it's a different service that he didn't uh, ask for so, all right, y'all. I appreciate y'all watching. This is a pretty long video, but I just wanted to kind of get get a, a good, thorough video for you guys of uh, hardwood, hardwood, because I don't really have that many videos. But this Daryl D West Enterprise, and y'all know what it is. It is D West for life. I'm gonna holler at y'all in the next one. Peace.